Good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about board diagram for proportional derivative controller. We know that when you have any error or deviation of the controlled variable in our system, we generally use feedback controller. In feedback controller, the cheapest choice or most easiest one is proportional controller. If we use the proportional controller, it will bring the system to the new steady state value. It will reduce the error, but it cannot completely eliminate. That new steady state error, we call it as uh, offset. To eliminate the offset, we use integral element. If you use integral element, it will eliminate the offset. At the same time, it will uh, introduce oscillations. So, to avoid that one, we go for PD controller. In PD controller, it can eliminate the oscillations. Okay, so we go for this PD controller. So in proportional derivative controller, the derivative control present in the proportional derivative controller produces an output signal that is proportional to the rate of change of error. So the output of the PD controller can be given as P equal to PS plus KCE plus KC tau D into DE by DT. See here, PS is nothing but the steady state response of the controller. So it is a constant. And Kc is the proportional gain, so or you can call it as a gain or sensitivity. And E is nothing but the error. It is the deviation between set point and measured value. And tau d is called as derivative time constant. So in this way, the proportional derivative controller response will change. So once we have this equation and once we have a transfer function, we, have, we can draw the board diagram. We know that board diagram consists of two plots. First one is log AR versus log omega and second one is phi versus log omega. In studying board diagram, we assume different values of omega and corresponding AR and phi values we calculate. If you know the AR and phi formula, it is a direct solution. Otherwise, we have to derive AR and phi formulas by using substitution method. That is very simple method. In substitution method, uh, we will have three steps. First step is we have to write the transfer function of the given system. Second step we have to replace all S terms with the I omega and we have to convert the given transfer function into complex number form that is Z equal to A plus IB. Once we have this complex number form, then amplitude ratio is nothing but the modulus of the complex number that is square root of A square plus B square. Similarly, phase angle is give, given by the argument of the complex number that is phi equal to 10 verse of b by a. In this way, by using the two's formulas, we can calculate the amplitude ratio and phi for any unknown system. Now coming to our system, so we have a PD controller. For PD controller, a transfer function is given as Kc into 1 plus tau ds. If you expand, you will get Kc plus Kc into tau ds. So first we got our transfer function. Next step is we have to replace this S term with the I omega. So then our transfer function will become G of I omega equal to Kc plus Kc tau D I omega. Here this can be written as Kc plus I, I you can take it from I into Kc tau D omega. Okay, so we have now our system like this. Next in this the real part is Kc that is A and imaginary part we can assume as B that is Kc tau D omega. We have a b value, then a r is nothing but simply square root of a square plus b square. So a value is kc, so we will have kc square plus b is kc tau d omega. So kc tau d omega square you will get. So in both the term kc square is common. So you can take out kc square from the square root, then it will become kc. So here you will get 1 plus tau d omega whole square. So this is the a r formula for pd controller. Similarly, phi, phi can be calculated as tan verse of b by a. b value is kc tau d omega, a value is kc, so both will cancel, will have tau d omega. See here, the basic uh, difference between proportional controller and PA controller and PD controller is, see for proportional controller and PA controller, we will get phase lag, that means five values we can get negative. But for uh, PD controller, always this value will be positive. So five we can call it as phase lead, that is the basic difference. So once we have this formulas for AR and phi, next we can assume different values of omega and we can calculate the corresponding AR and phi values. Here if you observe in these formulas, 
we have tau d omega in a both uh, ar as well as phi formula so instead of assuming omega as a independent variable you can assume omega tau d as independent variable for simplicity similarly kc value can take left hand side so that we'll get ar by kc value okay so we assume different values of omega tau d and corresponding ar by kc value and phi values we can calculate so from this uh, uh, data you can assume that here the phi value phase angle is moving from 0 to 90 degrees for pd controller once we have this data in our hand we can draw the board diagram like this so here the first plot is log ar by kc versus log omega tau d it is a log log plot okay and second one is phase angle phi versus log omega tau d it is a, a semi log plot so if you observe here phi value is moving from 0 to 90 as omega values changes from very low values to high values this is how board diagram uh, we get for pd controller thank you very much